Hi, I'm Professor Alison McMillan, the Australian Government's Chief Nursing and Midwifery Officer, speaking to you from Ngunnawal country. I'd like to talk to you about endometriosis. It's a chronic condition impacting at least one in nine Australian women, girls and those designed female at birth. As a nurse, I've seen the huge toll endometriosis can have, not just on the physical and mental well-being, but also on a person's quality of life. Endometriosis presents in a wide range of symptoms, and these can include heavy bleeding and painful periods, lower abdominal cramping and aching and backache, pain during and after a bowel movement, nausea and vomiting, painful sexual intercourse, and it can impact fertility. However, this is a highly individualized disease, and so the signs and symptoms can vary between different people. The most important thing is that pain, whatever its cause, isn't normal. If pain is impacting you on your life, talk to your GP. Whether or not it's endometriosis, you don't have to suffer. Whilst there's no absolute cure for endometriosis, there are ways to manage the symptoms to live the best possible life. We all know those important things to do to stay healthy, but if you're living with endometriosis, plenty of sleep, regular physical exercise, and reducing your stress can help. There's no need to be embarrassed to talk about your symptoms or concerns. Please speak to your general practitioner or a health professional about different treatments available to help manage endometriosis. And you're not alone. There are several organisations that provide information, practical support and advocacy. For more information, visit health.gov.au. And thanks for listening.